Few things pain the human psyche more than seeing violence against innocence. The children in Texas today who came face to face with pure, pure evil, they didn't deserve that. They didn't do anything to earn this punishment. Sometimes in a world of evil, evil things are going to happen. We can debate about policies and laws and legislation and agendas and everything else we think could have prevented this. And rest assured, in the coming days, weeks, and months, there will be ample opportunity to have exactly those conversations. But in these moments where we struggle with the pain and the sorrow of loss, it is important for us not to overlook the fact that right now, we shouldn't be focusing on debates and division. Instead, we should be focusing and rallying around individuals who are hurting today. As some individuals and some media outlets and some pundits want to sit here and they want to talk about their gun rights or they want to talk about their ideas of gun control, there are families who are looking in bedrooms that are empty. There are individuals who this morning told their kids, have a good day and those kids never came back. This isn't just something I say because it's dramatic and it's, it's impactful and it's, it's sad. It's something I say because it's the truth of the matter. And when we sit here and we dehumanize these events into something that's just a political token, we cheapen the value of human life. And what we know is that God has asked us to do two things, to love God and to love people. So I would say this, once again, in the coming days and weeks and months, there's going to be ample opportunity to debate whatever political or social change we want to be able to debate. For now, let us pray. Let us pray genuine prayers to a creator who actually does listen. Let us pray prayers that aren't just cheap and hollow words that we utter to some invisible being, but prayers that we offer on behalf of individuals who are hurting tonight, who may not have the emotional energy to pray on their own. Let's pray for those individuals. Let's pray for the, the emergency workers who are having to see terrible things. Let's pray for the leaders that they be able to cut through the rhetoric and that they would be able to just care for the individuals who are there hurting today. Pray for the churches in the, that community down in Texas who are, are facing an uphill battle having to piece together the lives of these individuals. Let us pray for ourselves that we not get distracted by everything that Satan and the world would rather us focus on rather than the hurting and the hearts of individuals who have been affected by the terrible events of today. It can be so hard to know what to do in moments like this because sometimes the harsh reality is that we physically can't do anything. What has happened has happened. The people who are hurting are hurting. The best thing that we can do in this moment right now is to pray for comfort and peace for those individuals who have been impacted. If we want to have debates and arguments later on, then just let that be for later on. For now, let's show the heart that Jesus showed whenever his friend passed away. It's appropriate for us to weep, and it's appropriate for us to have pain. So let us use that, that pain and that sadness as an opportunity to draw closer to God and to communicate with him our hopes and our desires for a peaceful future and for hope and healing for those who have been affected by today.